All right, guys, just a few announcements I want to clear up before we start this raid. I am grinding on a vanilla server right now, so we're going to have some vanilla raids coming up pretty soon. So playing all day vanilla and still playing modded, we should have some great content coming up in the next week. And for this next raid, we do have an auto turn up. As you can see, there are still a ton of players online, which is why I have this trap set up. I've already decided to go in through the front door on this one. If you want to check it out, here's the top. It looked like he has a ton of restacking up here. So yeah, he's probably got five or six floors we'd have to drill through. We don't know, it could turn into armored as well. I like this door because this turret can guard our back and we'll see where this pathway takes us. Okay, back to armored, I guess, and an armored door frame. Get a set of ladder up here. I'm expecting to get countered any time now. Okay, looks like we're kind of zigzagging around and not gonna be worth it to take an armored wall yet though. All right, so we've got some half floors here. Armored door gonna follow this path. If it starts zigzagging like all around, we'll probably end up just drilling straight in. Oh, okay, it looks like it's going in. We've got a few doors here. Let's send some rockets. What the heck, he just had a private sleeping room? Okay. And two more doors. Looks like this one could be a loot room because there is a half floor there. Let's keep sending rockets. Yep, we do have boxes there. That was kind of obvious, but... Tons of doors over here and like, what? Eight freaking sleeping bags here? There's no way this is how many clan members they have. Okay, let's check those boxes first. Oh, that's a TC, let's go boys. This is Folk Clan. Let's get these doors set up. Surprise, nobody's come to counter yet. All right, let's see what was in this first loot room and then we're gonna have some doors to take out. First of all, on his body, 1700 HQM. Empty, what the heck? Uh, okay. All these boxes were empty. And for TC. But TC's not empty. 42k sulfur. 1,000 GP. I would expect more from an eight-man squad. Let's blast open the rest of these doors and see if they've got any C4 rockets crafted up. We've got boxes. Just kind of opening up every door here. We've got yet another door, another two doors. So let's check these boxes out. Weapons and a locked, okay. Locked box 25C4, let's go boys. 51 rockets, that's what I was looking for. Now this guy's could possibly be an eight man clan seeing that much loot. All right, I'm glad we saw something there. I was getting kind of nervous if we were gonna find anything. Let's take these last two doors out. And furnaces, and yet another sleeper. Matt's on him as well. And sulfur in the actual furnace too. Okay, these external loot rooms were empty over there, but this one's got coffins. We're gonna have some work to do here to destroy all these boxes with locks on them. Some of them are unlocked. Let's check these. Gear sets, nice. 
And I'll get back with you guys in a second after I've destroyed these boxes. Okay, so time to check them. Just more gear sets in there. Nice and uniform though. More weapons. Two stacks of explo ammo, not bad. And these had two rockets in them. These were unlocked. Hazzies and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. 49 tech trash in there. Um, we basically got around here everywhere. Kind of a very simple base design by following the door path. Had a lot of extra room here. They could have made it much more secure. Must have gotten lazy. This next iceberg base looking pretty freaking juicy. Armored on both first and second floor. Armored door there on the front. And of course, we do have the trusty auto turret to guard our backs. Their auto turret actually unpowered. Turned off over here. I don't know what happened. It has an MP5 in it. But anyways, we could go straight for this armored door or the window. Either one works. We had luck trying the door path on that last raid. So let's try it again. Okay, there's a flame turret in there. Nope, we're good. How did we not destroy the turret though? It doesn't even have low grade in it. All right. Okay, guys, I think that's a vending machine. Check that out. What the frick? There's all these vending machines up here. Why did they leave them exposed through the wall? Looks like loot could be all the way in the top, actually. Let's just check out the first floor here. If it's going to stay garages, pretty cheap. Wow, wide open here in the core. Auto turret once again. No weapon in it, even. Hear those vending machines above us for sure. And could this be TC? It's a triangle. I feel like that'd be too easy. Okay, it's the battery. Wondering if they have some more auto turrets in here. These all were turned off. We definitely need to go up, guys. Um, instead of looking for a path here, we could just directly drill into one of these floors. Thing is, we do not want to destroy that thing through the wall or all the loot will be disappeared. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, check that out. We see more vending machines. Oh my God, they're blocking the way in here though. That's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to sacrifice one of these guys. So I'm gonna go for this one. Let's just hope it's not all filled with C4 and rockets. Finally, we can get in if we can make it. There we go. Five vending machines left to check. Just have to hope we didn't destroy the wrong one there. Oh my God, they are empty. They're just being used. Probably to block you from coming in here. Let's see where the heck these garage doors go. Wow, okay. I think that's the window floor up there. You can see the sun. Okay, I'm hearing some over here. Honestly, hearing some vending machines on the second floor. We took those ones out on the third floor. Down to 7C4. Key is how do we destroy these without getting one of these vending machines to get destroyed as well and make all its loot disappear? We're just honestly gonna have to go for it. I mean, I'm running out of explosives here. Seven C4 left and a rocket. Okay, I'm definitely not hearing one here. Let's go for this one. What the heck, boys? a battery honestly guys we're gonna have to get more explosives one of the most confusing base builds i have ever rated i expect we're gonna get some profit on this one just by how smart these guys are building i'm gonna come back here with some more ladders a few more rockets and c4 and see if we can finally finish this thing out once and for all Okay, there's one, finally. Can this one please have loot? Hardly any loot. There's a bag here. 
TC, let's go, boys. That's a good sign. Oh my god, this is O2 clan. I guess TC should be somewhere around here. Just because his bag says TC on it. Here we go, eight C4 and two rockets. Are you serious? That can't be the only loot they have in here. If that's the only loot, super disappointed. That is not gonna be any profit at all. Come on, there's TC. Finally, M249 in there. Come on, boys. This is going to be the moment of truth. There we go. A stack and a half of sulfur plus 100 explosives. Finally, it pays off, guys. This is one of the biggest nightmares of a raid that I've ever done. So the way they built it, they sealed everything off around here in the core on the second floor, yet they had doors everywhere else, vending machines everywhere else, so you couldn't really tell exactly where the loot was. Great base build, my dudes. Kudos, that was a difficult raid.